Okay. Uh, due to the time factor, I'll, I'll go on to the second uh, point, and that is economic policy. Um, I would say that uh, the again the Chavistas have been successful in areas that most people don't know much about, and the Chavistas themselves, if you listen to the Chavez, the Chavista uh, television channels and the radio station and their newspapers, they don't emphasize. For instance, the Chavez government has driven a hard bargain vis-a-vis -vis foreign capital, and they've been successful. I'll just give you one example. The steel company, Sidor. Um, in May of last year, Chavez threatened to nationalize the steel company. The steel company was originally state-owned in 1997. It was privatized. It was bought out by a, a South American, a Latin American consortium uh, headed by Argentine Capital. And as a result of this threat, Chavez stated that this company is producing steel here in the country and they're exporting it abroad. Uh, they're not uh, selling the steel or enough of the steel to Venezuelan companies that need the steel. Um, the state oil company needs uh, seamless um, tubes, which Venezuela has to import from countries like China. And so, as a result, Chavez said, look, either you guys satisfy national demand or else we're going to take the company over. Um, this was not a uh, bluff. Uh, you know, uh, everybody knows that Chavez follows up on a lot of his actions. And the, in an unprecedented move, unprecedented move um, the steel company sat down with two ministers um, and worked out an agreement. And according to this agreement, the steel company is going to inject um, uh, $500 million in the expansion of the steel industry. They're selling a much higher percentage of the steel to Venezuelan companies. And one of the members of this consortium, an Argentine company that controls the consortium, has agreed to sell seamless pipes to the Venezuelan state oil company. Uh, in addition, $50 million for eco ecological equipment uh, to improve the environment. Uh, the company has agreed to sell steel at a special discount to cooperatives in Venezuela. In other words, this has been a success. That threat of nationalization worked. And on top of that, the Venezuelan government now has a presence in the steel company in order to oversee this agreement. So this is an example of a success. This is not something you hear about in Venezuela. The Chavistas aren't even talking about this. But it's, um, I think, important to point out that this is the kind of discussion that Venezuela needs. Um, there's too much rhetoric, there's too much emphasis on solidarity, and not enough on the concrete effects of policies on the Venezuelan people. A, se a second quick example. It's got to be quick. Um, the Petro Caribe Agreement. This is an agreement in which Venezuela sells oil to now about 15 countries in the Caribbean area and now Central America. And they provide special terms for the payment of 40% of the, of the oil. 60% is paid up front and 40% over a period of 25 years. The Venezuelan opposition used this agreement to accuse Chavez of giving away the oil. That's a lie. Venezuela is not giving away oil any place. They're providing special terms for payment. It's not even discounted oil. It's not even a discount. They're, they're charging the same price, but 40% of that price, and now it might be 50%. Uh, it might go up. But uh, that percentage is being paid for over a period of, of 25 years. So uh, the opposition is saying that Venezuela is giving away, giving away the oil. The Venezuelan government, instead of saying, look, that's a lie, we're not giving away the oil, and this is beneficial for Venezuela because Venezuela is diversifying uh, sales, and that's a national objective, that's a national goal, uh, Chavez emphasizes international solidarity. Okay? So I think that this is another example of where the real issues are getting, uh, uh, are getting downplayed.